Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about or we will study about Remainder Theorem. Basically, yung pinaka concept or laman itong topic to is for us to find the remainder of a given polynomial to be divided by a given expression or a binomial. So let me read first the meaning or what is meant by the remainder theorem. Sabi dito, if a polynomial p of x, this is your polynomial, is divided by a binomial or expression like x minus c, where c is a real number, then the remainder is p of c. In symbol, p of c is equal to the remainder of that polynomial to be divided by a binomial. So, simple naman yung ginagawa dito. At yung pinakamadaling way on how to find the remainder. Evaluate mo lang yung given polynomial by C. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, I have here example number 1. Find the remainder when x raised to 4 minus 3 x raised to 3 plus 2x minus 2 is to be divided by x plus 2. This is your dividend and this is your divisor in this given problem so let me give you some examples or some idea about it so there are different ways on how to find the remainder when you divide a polynomial by a certain binomial listen eh? you can use long division medyo mahaba yung process na yun. you can use synthetic division much better mas makes it pero mas mabilis is simply by using Remainder theorem, kung ang hinahanap mo lang ay yung remainder of that division. So, in this case, I will show you how to find the remainder of it gamit yung synthetic division. And then right after that, we will verify if that is correct or whether the remainder is that is correct using the remainder theorem. Okay? So, let me use the synthetic division first. And then, uh, magiging setup muna natin, we will be using synthetic division. Tapos, i-verify lang gamit yung remainder theorem. So, if you have this kind of expression, una, kunin mo muna yung divisor mo, and then equate it by, so, i-copyin muna natin yung expression natin, x raised to 4, minus 3, x squared, plus 2x, minus 2, to be divided by, x plus 2. So, ang ginagawa nitong una, kunin mo yung divisor mo, ito yung shortcut ang ginagawa namin, so, you have x plus 2. Equate mo siya sa 0. Then, solve for x. It will be x is equal to negative 2. Ilipat mo lang sa kabila. Pag yung negative yan. So, yung negative 2 na yan, kunin mo siya. Yan yung ilalagay mo dito. Now, for the other part, kunin mo yun yung coefficient ng yung terms. So, wait lang ha. May nakalimutan tayo dito. This is x cube, sorry yan so, kunin mo yung coefficients so, ano yung mga kailangan mo tandaan dito when you are doing, doing synthetic division check mo muna kung may nawawalang term dito may nawawalang quadratic term yung term na merong x squared and then check mo rin kung naka standard form dapat nasa unahan yung variable with the highest exponent so, sa arrangement naman, okay naman tayo so, dito, ang coefficient ng x to the 4th power mo is 1. Yung coefficient ng second term mo is negative 3. Since nawawala, si x squared, magiging 0 yung kanyang coefficient. Maglalagay tayo rito ng 0. And then, 2. Dito nang galing yung 2. Tapos, negative 2. So, ano yung basic step natin in doing synthetic division? First, bring down muna yung first coefficient. Bring down yung first coefficient. And then multiply it with your negative 2. So, 1 times negative 2, that will give you negative 2. Tapos, i-add mo itong dalawang to. That is negative 5. Then, multiply mo yung negative 5 by negative 2. That is positive 10. Then, add mo silang dalawa. So, you have 10. And then, 10 times negative 2, that is negative 20. Tama? Okay. Add mo itong dalawang to, this will give you 
negative 18. Then multiply negative 18 sa negative 2, that is 36. Then add mo tong dalawang to, so you have 34. So ngayon, usually, yung nasa dulo ang remainder natin. Pero check pa rin natin. So, ang basic rule dito, kapag yung, yun yung sagot o yung quotient nyo, gamit ang synthetic division, ay gagawin nyo na, puntahan nyo muna yung highest exponent ng inyong divisor, ay ng inyong dividend, that is x raised to 4. So, automatically, kung yan ay x raised to 4, or to the 4th power, yung quotient mo yung magsisimula sa cube or x raised to 3. So, this is x raised to 3. Ito ngayon ay minus 5x squared. Ito magiging plus 10x. Ito yung coefficient mo, minus 18. So, as you can see, ang remainder mo ay 34. So, the remainder is 34. This is the remainder. Pero, di ba sabi nga natin kanina, we will verify it using ang remainder theorem natin. So, sa ating remainder theorem, sabi dito, if your p of x is equal to x sub 4 minus 3 x cube plus 2x minus 2, ang gagawin mo lang is to evaluate it using this one. Nakakuha. So, ang gagawin mo dito, equate mo rin siya sa 0. x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, your x is equal to negative 2. Ngayon, ngayon, ngayon yung magiging input natin. Magiging p of negative 2. So, tandaan nyo sa mabilis ng way na to. So, you have here, x replace natin by negative 2. You have negative 2 raised to 4. Then, minus 3 times yung x ulit natin, i-replace natin by negative 2. Tapos, plus 2 times negative 2 ulit. Minus 2. And then, using the order of operations, kailangan mo na natin eliminate yung parenthesis. This one, negative 2 raised to 4, since negative yung ating, ay, meron tayong even na exponent, automatic. This one is positive 16. Kasi si, two, negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Times negative 2, negative 8. Times negative 2, that is 16. So this is our P of negative 2. And then, minus 3. Ito muna simplify natin ha. Huwag yung negative 3 saka negative 2. Ito yung magiging, ah, sorry, this is cube. So you have this, negative 2 raised to 3, that is negative 8. Kasi yung ating exponent ay odd number. Then negative 2 times 2, that is negative 4 minus 2. So simplify muna natin ito. So you have P of negative 2 is equal to 16 times 16 plus 24 minus 4 minus 2. So saan ang galing yung 24? Dito negative 3 times negative 8. Simplifying your expression, that will give you negative 32, negative 2. So, pag inod natin itong dalawang to, that is 16 plus 24 is 40. Minus 4, 36. Minus 2, the answer is 34. This is the remainder. So, as you can see, though makaibing process na ginawa natin, we can still get the remainder theorem. Again, you can use long division, mas mahaba yun. You can use synthetic division. Ang mas madali is to use remainder theorem. Okay? Now, we have your example number 2. Sabi sa instruction natin, use the remainder theorem to find the remainder of 2x to the 4th power minus 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 5 divided by x minus 3. Again, we're not asked for the quotient. Or just ask for the remainder. So meaning we will be using the remainder theorem. So you have b of x is equal to 2x to the 4th power minus 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 5. And then, first step na gagawin natin is equate your divisor by 0. x minus 3 is equal to 0. So you have x is equal to 3. This will be the input. Ito yung papalit natin sa variable x para makuha si remainder. Now, 
So you have P of 3 is equal to 2x cubed x to the 4th power. So gagawin natin dito, papalitan mo lang yung lahat ng x ng 3. So subukan na natin. You have 2 times 3 raised to 4 minus 5 times 3 raised to 3 minus 3 times 3 raised to 2 plus 3 minus 5. So, simplify muna natin yung ating mga parentheses or yung mga, yung mga exponent. Ang 3 raised to 4 ay 81. So, you have P of 3 is equal to 2 times 81 minus 5. Ito muna. That is 27. Kasi 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. And then ito naman, minus 3 times 9. Gawin natin itong minus... 2. Yung 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Simplify natin yung mga parenthesis natin. This will give us 162. Kasi 81 times 2 is 162. Minus 5 times 27. Try natin ha. Ang 5 minus 27 is 137. 135. Right? Minus 27 minus 2. Simplify natin sila lahat. Try natin ha. P of 3 will give you try natin sila. Mm, this is negative ito muna. 135 minus 27 that will give you 162. Right? Yan pala negative 137 minus 27 is 162 na. So, mawawala na agad to. Siguro na agad to. So, the remainder is negative 2. This is the answer. Again, the remainder is negative 22. Check natin na, ha? Okay? So, I hope na within these two examples, natutunan nyo kung paano gumamit ng remainder theorem in finding the remainder when you're dividing a polynomial and a binomial. So, I hope na ma-apply natin yung inyong natutunan sa video na to within this activity. So, I have here an activity wherein you will be asked to find the remainder of the following using remainder theorem. So, I have here two items and I want you to apply what you have learned from this video and pakicomment na lang kung ano yung remainder ng number 1 at ng item number 2. Now, kung bago ko lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!